The need of an isolated MOSFET driver is inevitable for high voltage applications. And there are multiple isolated types of MOSFET drivers in the market which can be used. This time we'll learn about that. So let's start. We have already seen the definition and necessity of isolating MOSFET driver in our last video. There are different types of such galvanic isolation techniques. These are basically categorized in three parts, which are optical, inductive, and capacitive isolation. Each technology uses a different insulator material and each has different dielectric strength. Dielectric strength is a measurement which describes the maximum applied electrical field that a material can withstand without undergoing electrical breakdown. This is measured in volt per micrometer. The higher will be the dielectric strength, the more robust the isolator would be. Let's start with the first one. The optical isolator or also known as optocoupler. It consists of an input LED or receiving photodetector and an output driver. The working of the optocoupler is straightforward. When a sufficient electrical signal is provided to the LED, it emits light which is detected by the photodetector and the other side turns on. The isolation barrier of the optocoupler is basically built using air, epoxy or mold compound. Both the input and output of the optocoupler require a separate voltage supply connected to an anode and collector pins and separate ground pins typically connected through a cathode or emitter pin in order to maintain signal isolation between input and output. There are multiple optical isolation based MOSFET drivers like UCC23513. Optical isolation relies on light transfer. So due to constant light switching, the life of the optocoupler decays over time, creating a limitation to the long term functionality. The materials used in the separation in optocoupler have lower dielectric strength, so it needs more physical separation to get more isolation. Although the light is fastest medium, the switching speed and dry circuitry limits its speed of data transfer. Also, optocouplers do not transfer sufficient power to turn on a MOSFET. Hence, we need to use an amplifier to attain this. But it decreases the efficiency and increases the power consumption of the driver. To overcome this, we can use the inductive isolation. It is based on transformer based technology. We have seen the use of a transformer for MOSFET driving in our previous videos. Those are based on the same principle. The logic input is used to generate an electromagnetic field and to transfer proportional energy signals across the inductive transformer barrier. The transformer based isolated drivers can transfer power in large amounts than optocoupler and sometimes they don't require secondary isolated power supply as well. It supports a high switching frequency and provides better EMI performance. It also supports high isolation voltage, but due to the magnetizing coils used in transformer, the size of the circuit increases and becomes bulkier. But there are some solutions where this bulky external transformer is eliminated and the transformer is fitted inside the chip package itself. For example, two EDI driver products from Infineon, it has built-in coalesced transformer which uses an inductive galvanic isolation technique to drive the MOSFET. Finally is the capacitive isolation. It is the latest galvanic isolation technology. It is based on energy transfer across the silicon dioxide or CMOS barrier through a high frequency carrier. On the input side, a digital signal is applied. After that, it gets modulated. And then it flows across the capacitive isolation barrier. If the signal is of AC nature, the signal travels through this barrier. If it is DC, the barrier doesn't allow that, which eliminates unwanted DC noise. After that, the signal is demodulated, which is proportional to its input, 
and finally the original signal is provided at the output which is isolated. Capacitive isolation drivers are made with the highest dielectric strength material for isolation so that have high data rates, low thermal profiles and long life operation. For capacitive isolated MOSFET driver, we can take the example of MP188-51 driver IC from MPS which has all the advantages which we discussed. The requirement of using which isolated driving technique to be used depends upon the multiple criteria like high voltage rating of the system, switching speed, size, power requirements, etc. Now, for easy understanding, let's compare all these drivers together so that we'll be able to understand about their advantages and disadvantages. We are categorizing these different type of isolated MOSFET drivers, which is UCC23513 from TI, the 2EDI driver from Infineon and MP18851 from MPS. We'll name them as driver 1, driver 2 and driver 3. As you know, each of them has different isolation technology. The isolation voltage of the driver 1 is around 1060 volts and the isolation voltage of both of the other drivers is around 1500 volts. As you see, as the dielectric strength of these drivers are different, hence the isolation voltage is also different. Each of them has different current source and current sink capabilities. The propagation delay of the first driver is around 105 nanoseconds and the propagation delay of second driver is around 7 to 8 nanoseconds and propagation delay of third driver is 50 nanoseconds. As you see, the optical isolation based driver IC has the maximum propagation delay following with the capacitive isolation and then the transformer based isolation technology. The switching speed of the first driver IC is around 15 to 20 kHz only. But the switching speed of the both driver 2 and driver 3 is 10 MHz and 1 MHz respectively. So the transformer based and capacitive based transformer drivers provide maximum range of switching frequency. Generally the driver 2 and driver 3 ICs are dual channel driver ICs. But usually optocoupler based driver IC supports only single channel MOSFET driving. Well that's all about the different types of isolated MOSFET drivers. Based on our requirements we can select different type of driver accordingly. If you want to know more about the application circuits of these driver ICs, then please comment down below. I have added all the references related to these circuits in the description. If you have any query, you can ask me in the comment section or email me. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And finally, thank you so much for watching this video.